What is going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about my personal favorite spring, early springtime bass fishing baits. Early spring is a fun time of year because you get the pre-spawn bass. It's your first time out in the water in a long time after duck season. If you duck hunt or do any kind of duck, duck hunting like I do. But it's a lot of fun if you haven't tried duck hunting. Anyways, early spring is a great time to get out on the water and get familiar with some new spots. Try new spots and uh, kind of figure out what the fish are up to. Today I'm going to go over my personal top five favorite baits to use in early springtime and what have been the most effective for me this year. Starting out, we'll start out with this. In cold water, this is killer. This is a jig. If you guys don't know what a jig is, that's okay. But most, most bass fishermen know about a jig and this is a 3 8 ounce uh, Strike King football head jig in a black and blue color with a blue and red crawfish trailer. Jigs are great because you're able to get down deep to where the fish are, give them a real slow presentation if they're still pretty lethargic. And jigs are just all around a great bait to be using. And jig bites are big bites. Next thing we have is another great bait to be using for cold water and that is a jerk bait a suspending jerk bait this one's in a sexy shad color and it's a uh, I got this at Academy I don't remember what it is uh, it's an H2 H2O Express suspending jerk bait but these things work awesome I've had a lot of luck with jerk baits and fish dig these things when it's still pretty cold out because once again it's a nice slow presentation and it gives the fish something really slow to look at and they're like, oh, that's an easy target, you know? So these things work great. You just kind of fish it and you jerk it, jerk it, you know, let it sit and then you jerk it, jerk it, you know? Real slow and that's a great thing to be using when the water's still cold. When the water starts warming up though, uh, I like to throw a 3 8 ounce or a half ounce chatterbait. This one is a Stripe King Pure Poison with a chartreuse and white color. Uh, I added a trailer hook. I had people saying, oh, you need to put a trailer hook on your chatterbait. So I was like, oh, whatever, okay. I had some in my tackle box, but I was catching them all right without the trailer hook. But uh, yeah, chatterbaits work great. You know, you just chuck them out there where you think the fish are, long structure, weed lines, and rocky points, and things like that. And these work great for pond fishing as well. I've had a lot of great luck with these. Check out my other video where I use this. But yeah, chatterbaits are great because they put off a lot of vibration once again this is for when the water warms up a little bit more but I've had a lot of great luck with these I've just started using these this season and I dig them I never really heard about them until last season and my buddy Adam was using them and he was like yeah these things work great and so I tried one this season works great so chatterbait is the next thing I would go with the next thing that we've got is once again when the water starts warming up you want to throw a spinner bait you know you, there's all different types of spinner baits but um, you know this one's pretty cheapo knockoff brand spinner bait but I mean hey they all work there's a lot of junk falling off these anyways I've had a lot of great luck with spinner baits year round and fish dig these things and I use the ones with the Colorado and the willow leaf either gold or silver depending on the day. There's, these are great for when the water starts warming up. They're not quite to spawn, but you know, you get those reaction strikes and those aggressive bass really do love these things. The last thing that we have here in my top five favorites is a kind of finesse worm or a drop shot worm. Uh, drop shot rigs are working great right now and uh, these things, fish dig drop shots. They give them a nice, once again, a nice slow presentation and these drop shot rigs have caught a lot of fish for me and you know I just kinda look for something kinda really finesse and put it on the drop shot and it does the magic so those are the top five things that you can use but there's one more thing that I thought of when I was making this video and that is actually it's on my bait caster that's why I didn't think of it but that is a MEPS number three Aglia with the orange, yellow, and green pattern on the blade with a white tail. These have to be my hands down favorite bait to throw. Uh, I'll talk about it in another video, but these things have been working magic for me in ponds and 
I haven't caught anything in a lake on them. Rivers, yes, but not lakes yet. But ponds and ponds and rivers, it's killer. So I highly recommend you getting one of these and just picking it out and throwing it for a little while if you're not getting any bites on any of these. So that is my top five early spring bass baits. I hope this video helped you guys out. If you liked it, leave it a like. Feel free to subscribe. That means a lot when you guys do both of those. And if you guys have any other tips for other anglers, leave it in the comments. I'm sure they'd love to know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this helps you out. And I'll see you on the next one.